Hello, welcome to part 5 of the UGX Mod standalone installation for developers. In this segment I will show you how to configure your map with the provided UGX prefabs. In order to use random boxes with UGX Mod, you will need to use the provided prefabs for them. There is also a prefab for the start random box and a copy paste prefab for any remaining random boxes. I'll go ahead and open my map to show you the process. This is a standard sniper bolt tutorial map. For the most part, there isn't anything in here I will need to change um, except for the pack a punch prefab, which I will go ahead and delete. And the random box, which I will also go ahead and delete. So to place the prefab for the Pack-a-Punch, I'm going to go to MISC, Prefab, and I'm going to go to the UGX Mod folder and choose UGX Moving Pap Map. This will place the Pap machine in the map. Now let me go ahead and rotate it and position it. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the prefab with the stamp button. Now. If you're going to use the UGX moving prefabs, which it, or moving um, pack a punch machines, which is enabled by default in the user settings, you will need to place more than one pack a punch location. In order to determine the order in which the pack a, in order to determine the start location of the pack a punch as well as any locations that it can move to, you will need to open the KVPs of the trigger use of the pack a punch, and edit the script string. By default, the script string is zero, which means it's the start location for the PAP machine. You 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 will need to increase this number, you know, one, two, three, four, for every additional pack a punch machine that you place. The order of movement for the pack a pack a punch machines is completely random, so do not place them in any logical order other than placing the start pack a punch in a in a logical location. If you do not want your pack a punches to move, disable the setting in UGXM user settings and the pack a punches will all be activated at once. So you could have five if you wanted to. Um, note that um, in order for the pack a punch machine to work in any map, even a non UGX mod map, there must be at least one perk machine and a properly placed power switch, which I will not cover in this tutorial. Um, so to place a random box, I will go to MISC prefab, then go to the UGX mod folder, and then pl place UGX random box underscore start dot map. This is the start location for the random box. So don't place it behind, you know, five or six doors. You want to place it near the beginning of your map um, where the users can get to it. So I'll place it right here. This teddy bear is the rubble that will appear when the when the random box is moved. So once you place your start random box, you can either just leave it and not place anymore, or if you want more random boxes, you can go to MISC prefab, UGX mod folder, and place UGX random box dot map. You can place as many of these as you want, and the the random box will move from location to location just like it would normally. So I'll go ahead and place one here. And then for these for these additional random boxes, you need to stamp the prefab and then select the trigger use and see the script noteworthy chest one. You need to increase this number just like the pack a punch for every additional random box you place. You also need to select the teddy bear and change this target name from chest one rubble to whatever number chest you are currently placing, you know, chest two, three, four, five, whatever. Once you're finished, um, oh, there's one more. Finally, this is required. You need to go to misc prefab. Uh oh, shit. Let me deselect that teddy bear. Okay, misc prefab. UGX mod folder, and place the UGX sentry turret load dot map. 
This will place this little red box in your map, and if you look at the KVP window, it's a MISC, or um, you need to stamp it. And then if you look at the window, you'll see it's a MISC turret. You can place this anywhere in the map. It's not actually going to become a turret or anything. I usually like to just stick it under the map um, somewhere near where the player spawns so I know where it is, you know, like right there or whatever. And that's that's it. That's all you need to do for that. Once you're done, go ahead and save your map. Um, oh, and bear in mind, if you don't place that sentry gun prefab, the game will crash as soon as the sentry turret power-up is grabbed by a player. If you wish, you can also place wall weapon purchases for UGX mod weapons in your map. There are 22 pre-configured weapon prefabs, and making your own should be self-explanatory. So if you want to place one, go to MISC prefab, and go to the UGX mod folder, and then go to the weapons folder, and choose a weapon. I'm going to go ahead and choose... Uh, hmm. How about a PP-19? And then go ahead and you just place it like any other weapon prefab in World at War. Um, let's put it right here. Like that. Make sure it's against the wall so it doesn't look stupid. There we go. So that's how you place a weapon spawn. Now you may save and close your map once you're finished. Open Launcher and recompile your map in order for the changes to take effect. And I'm not going to show that because you should know how to do that yourself. Now you're ready for the final step of installation which is moving and renaming files. This will be explained in part 6, the final video of the series.